Peyton, tell us, how are you enjoying life on the fair farm? It's a farm, and there's lots of stuff. <laughs> it's pretty cool, isn't it? It's Yeah, it's fascinating stuff. All right. Yeah. Well, so we'll go over here to Marlon. Marlon, how are you enjoying life on the farm? Uh, I love I love the farm. It's great, especially this farm. Did you particular. grow up on a farm? No, I sure didn't, but my dad did. So oh, that, you know, kind of like farm. That's All right. Yeah, yeah, right thanks, there. thanks for the interview. Julia, how are you enjoying being back on the homestead? It's great. I've missed it. I don't usually get to help on the farm, so this is a great experience, but yeah. Do you like your brothers all ordering you around today? I do not like my brothers ordering me around, but for Thomas, it's okay. <laughs> well, there you have it, folks. <laughs> Good morning guys, welcome back to Ferris Farming Organic. To give you some context of those first few clips, my sister's cross country team from Northwestern College in Orange City, Iowa, came to help out on the farm. And now we're at our new bin site. We're actually getting kind of the rundown on how everything works. So the next four minutes or so will be one of the electricians that kind of wired up a lot of this and um, is gonna be showing us how it works. All the safety features just how it all works because he's gonna do a much job much better job explaining than i will and after we're done inside there we'll go outside kind of do a walk around talk a little bit about what we'll use this bin site for um its capabilities um we do have some i would say future projects for this bin site we have three bins up right now um we do possibly plan I'm putting some more bins up, but we'll talk about that later. We're gonna go inside now and uh, listen to what he's talking about. The certified guy from that company. So I have to set up that appointment and schedule it, but they need to have the power off to the site if the utility gets to turn the power off. That blue switch, if you can turn it on and off, right now it's off, then you can turn it to on, and then it lights up. Now it's in maintenance mode. Um, maintenance mode, what that does is it changes a bunch of settings in the breakers for fault current. Um, so we'll talk a little about fault current so you guys can kind of are aware of that. This, um, that is going to protect you guys so you're a little safer while you're inside some of these boxes. But it won't shut everything off. No, it doesn't shut the power off. This hand will shut the power off. Like if we were doing your drying form, like running it like a normal day, you can put the commitments mode and everything will be fine. Mm -hmm. yep. So yep. what is it, I mean, it just, what does it do that? So the breaker has settings in it as far as how it watches the, the voltage and amperage go through it. For like when it trips. For when it trips, yep. And fault current is like, if you have a short and you take two wires and they arc, that arc has like, I don't know, 800 amps, 1,000 amps. So it's going to shock you otherwise. Well, it'll make the breaker trip easier. Yeah. And on the boxes outside, that way when you're trying to work on something, you're not confused. So um, I felt like it's better than East Bin, Small Bin. Or, yeah. 
<clears throat> I don't know, I was going to maybe show you how to reset the starters, the VFDs and stuff like that. So if that stuff trips, you can see how that works. But I thought, if you know the naming scheme now, as we go through, it'll make more sense. Right, yeah, in the top of this breaker. Yeah. Um, so this is the reset button down here and the overloads, you can adjust them. And every starter should have room to go. But we went at FLA and every motor has a uh, 25% uh, service factor on it. So you should be able to bump them up if you need to. But I should, where again? Right here. So you just put this button and turn that. And there's a dial. Yeah. But when I say bump it up, I mean, I would definitely ask and to see how far you want to go because if you don't have it set right, you'll burn the motor up. Um, what else? All of the limit switches and field wiring. So we call a field wiring be like a button, a plug switch, stuff like that. If you're that far into troubleshooting, that's all listed here. And all these wires are going to have a label on them with what they are, plug switch. Uh, this would be a start and stop. Or this would be your stop, this would be your start button out there for the panel suite. So it's by the door, the buttons. But if you have to troubleshoot, if the button is coming back, the signal's going back from wherever it's at, you can do that with these wires right here. Um, the disconnect off for a motor, and it must have been some runner, so you have an alarm like this. And usually what I do is I clear the alarm, and then I close. And then if you can see right here, it says conveyor 100 control power. So that's still current as an alarm. And so we'll like go another, that's the thick conveyor. You can see it's blinking. So that means that there's an issue. And if they're not running things today, we should fill the dryer and just run just into the wet tank. So it would run fast. Otherwise it would run slow the whole time. Great. Well, so you far. could you could just take this, go to target, just go straight to a wet bin. Right. Well if you're going to bin one or wet bin and Bend one is the wet bend. Wet bend. Wet bend. If you're going to bend one and dryer, it'll run at 15,000. No. Or if the dryer is calling for corn, it's going to slow this now. Or so slow that down because you know the spout's going to be. It looks, and if the pit goes full. So I know we've talked about this bin site a little bit before on the channel, but just in case you missed it, this is our new bin site, kind of by Emmicksburg, Poet, and AJP. Um, it has over 600,000 bushels of storage in it. It has the receiving capabilities of 15,000 bushels an hour and also has the drying capabilities of 3,200 bushels per hour. So it is a big bin site, brand new, all souk up, uh, worked with ASI contracting. Sean did a great job, uh, went up super smooth. We started dirt work for it in, I want to say March and it is September 18th right when we're starting to harvest corn. So perfect timing on their part and our part. I want to walk up to the top, but I'm not a big fan of heights and I don't really want to do that, but we'll see if we do. Also, if there's any more information you guys want on this bin site, I'm sure I'll be around it a lot this fall. And uh, we'll talk about a little bit more and kind of just show you how it all works. But hopefully what Tori talked about, um, just past videos of it, gives you a good idea of how this bin site will work. We will only be putting organic corn in this bin site since uh, we run down to Sioux City with most of that. It's nice to be on the pavement. And obviously we have loadouts on the side there you can see, make for quick loading in the winter. But yeah, this will all be organic corn. And I'm actually quite sure that Sean put up a couple GoPros before we started setting this all up. So at some point during the fall, we'll get a video of the time lapse of the entire bin site being put up, so that'll be pretty sweet. Anywho, we're probably gonna take a truck back home. We might be harvesting some corn this afternoon, and if we are, we'll definitely get a video. Like, that is just insane. All righty, let's go on home. It's pretty big. And you know what? If the energy seems kinda low, that's because it is, because I did not sleep well last night. But that's besides the point. We'll talk more about the bin site later, but for now, we're gonna take this truck home. I believe it's empty, I hope it's empty. Air gauge says it's empty. 
actually we're probably going to call it a video here because the next video will be us starting corn and i don't want to put that in this video so thank you guys for watching thank you for julia's cross country team for coming out and doing some really hard manual labor on our farm um it was my understanding that it was a few of their few of those people's like first time on a farm or like riding a tractor so that was kind of cool to be able to show them that and just doing all the work um that i did not want to do so that was cool and also tori and micah for showing us the bin site how it works um i forgot all from what you guys told me so i'm probably going to watch this video like 10 times to try to remember some of the stuff you guys showed us but uh anyway next video will be us starting corn and until then catch you in the next one